Jeff, when it comes to isolating the tracks, knowing if it's like a road course or not, like, is there a good set of information where I can go find this? Uh, do you see more of one type of course than another type of course uh, when you go through everything? And how do you parse those people out? Is that just knowledge that you have off the top of your head? Like, I can do that with golf, but I have no idea for NASCAR. Well, I mean, there are certain <laughs> certain drivers on certain tracks, like yeah, you know, Chase Chase Elliott on a, a Roval. It's a the Ro We just saw the Roval, so uh, it's a mixture of a road course and they partially drive on the oval. So at Daytona, for example, uh, there's the Charlotte Roval as well. Like Chase Elliott's just unbelievable on that. Now, granted, he he did crash out at the very end of uh, the uh, the class race, but still. For generally speaking, that you can group tracks. That's what I tend to do because really, if you wanted to project just individually four tracks, there's just not enough of a, a recent sample for these drivers to do so, uh, you know, with any sort of accuracy. And even so, we're still uh, on somewhat limited data. So I group tracks. I actually have seven different track groupings in mind. I know people will have more, some people will have fewer. But you can, you know, certain tracks are similar. Like Talladega and Daytona, I have grouped together. Now, Talladega isn't exactly the same as Daytona, though. And if you just blindly took projections, you wouldn't take that into account where certain guys are going to run a little bit better at, at Talladega because of those subtle differences. So you do have to know that there is lots of data out there, as, as Nick had me uh, mentioned earlier. I mean, you can get the general place data on most sports data sites, like, you know, the freebies out there of the world. But uh, really, if you wanted to do this on your own, if you're somebody who might be a little bit more uh, Excel inclined or even further, you can do some other cool stuff with data. Just search out uh, NASCAR loop data and you'll be able to find some sites that have that. And that's where you really get your interesting information with percentage of laps these guys run in the top 15, uh, their driver rating, which Unlike in the NFL quarterback rating, yeah, whatever, but driver rating can be really telling, especially if a guy runs really well and then wrecks, you know, or has somebody wreck him, you know, that doesn't show up when you just look at where he finished in the race, but it will show up in the driver rating. You can uh, look at quality passes. There's, there's just so much uh, great data out there, as Nick mentioned earlier, and that will give you a much more complete picture of these drivers on, on the respective tracks. 